floor right here is all uneven. It's got cracks and uh, cut lines in it. So just by putting the material flat on the floor, we're not going to get a perfectly flat rectangular base. So we need to isolate the floor from the material. And we're gonna do that by using a three point system. So three points make a perfect plane in geometry, as long as those three points are not collinear. Well, it just so happens that they're not because we're making a 90 degree triangle. And we're gonna represent those three points by these short pieces of angle iron that we're gonna set on the floor. Right now, by using the piece of angle iron, we are now isolating the material from the floor. So now we have to hold them in this position. So we have our speed square, we can adjust it to 90, but the problem lies in just that. You see this twist? We can eliminate some of the twist by matching these two flat surfaces, and we can get by with that by clamping uh, a flat surface there. And now all we have to do is to just uh, worry about 90 and then we can tack away. So that's what I call the hard way. So we don't need this anymore. I want to use the fireball squares to do the same thing without any angle iron, any flat plate. By eliminating this, we don't need that. We don't need this. We don't need this. This square has everything built in all at once. Here's our three points. Here's our perfect 90. These two surfaces are tall and three-dimensional, so it takes care of the roll all at the same time. We can also use the small monster square in this situation too, but I always try to use the largest square available to me at the time. With a simple clamp, I can line up the edge. Bam, there's one. There's two. So it's something as simple as that. We got ourselves a frame. Now what we'll do is we'll test it. Looks like 31 and 9 sixteenths. Looks like 31 and 9 sixteenths. If it was me, I'd be using fishing line because it's a little bit more accurate. Go from diagonal to diagonal. And what we're gonna be looking for is the separation of the string in the center. And that's gonna tell us if this square we've made it has twist in it. So come down here and take a look at this. You probably can't see this, but the strings, they want to be, uh, they're trying to share the same space here in the center. And that's kind of what I want to see. I don't, it just barely touches on top of this one. I can see this string deflect a little bit. So I know that they're trying to equal out, so I know this thing's pretty dang good. Okay, for our final test, just to confirm, let's pop it up on this build pro table. <laughs> wow, that's pretty dang good, what do you guys think? It's pretty nice for building that sucker on the floor. I'd be extremely happy with this. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is weld this thing out, but we're gonna save that for another video. 
I'd like to share with you some weld sequencing to keep this thing square. So please like and subscribe. Go to fireballtool.com for more information on these awesome squares. Catch you on the next one.